You may recognize this outfit from the video I uploaded earlier this week. It's because I'm recording two videos in one day and I'm too lazy to get up and change to put on any sort of illusion. I saw this banner ad on my anime list and I love clicking my anime list banner ads. This one's fun to me. I don't play Weiss Schwartz. I have tried. It is incredibly confusing and complicated. I do play Vanguard. I opened a starter deck for the newest Vanguard set here on the channel. Um, Weiss Schwartz is the other big game by Bushy Road, that the company that makes Vanguard. And uh, I saw I had a chance to win a, a deck or some cards here, which is kind of cool. Fun fact is that the only reason I know how to play this game even a little is I went to a Vanguard tournament with a few friends. One of them being a fellow creator here, Rick Zorro. Rick Zorro was the only one of the group of friends that didn't play Vanguard, but we lent him a deck, taught him how to play, and he joined this tournament with us. At the end, all the prizings giving out to people that won, and one random prize was given out. And he got the random prize, and it was a starter deck and instruction book for Y Schwartz. So I just, I really want to convince him to duel me. Uh, and winning, winning this prize would, uh, would give us that ability. Explains what it is. I mean, Japanese card game. What I do think is cool about Y Schwartz, and one of the reasons I wish I cared more about it, maybe this would be a gateway to help me, is the decks are like real licensed anime. Like there's a Kaguya deck, there's a Madoka deck, a Is It Run Pick of Girls in a Dungeon deck. Like if you've been to any sort of like card shop or conventions even, I see them at conventions all the time, you can purchase like an Attack on Titan starter deck or a Sword Art Online starter deck, things like that. So that's really cool to just have a deck of cards from an anime I've seen and like, I don't know, some sort of connection with those cards. I like that. I like the aesthetics of cards a lot and that usually determines what kind of deck I end up playing. All right, I don't care about the card list. These are just the rules of how to play. I'm not going to go through the rules right now. It is way too complicated. Oh, yeah, here you go. There's like a re zero deck, Kona Super deck, Persona 5 deck. Um, this is a lot of telling me about the game. And not a lot. Here's the quiz. This is what I'm looking for. Take a quiz for a chance to win a present. Take a quiz for a chance to win a present. Not a reward, not a prize. A present. Stand to win a child deck of a popular title by answering the simple quiz and survey. Winners will be contacted by email. Cool. Award content. Seven Deadly Sins. Kaguya-sama. Uh, the, the Shield. Maiden. Anime. Magia Record. The Madoka spinoff. Uh, Data Live. Love Live. Machi and five. There's a deck for each of the quintessential quintuplets. That seems excessive. If I watched that show, maybe I'd care about one of those decks, but I didn't, so it really limits <laughs> what I want to win. Fill in the blank quiz. The Japanese and English language edition of Y Schwartz consists of over. This many combined. I'm going to control F real quick. Ah, over 120 titles. All right, I need to down and I'm going to click that button. Easy. Easy. Continue to the present entry. Let's go. All right, finally at the quiz. Please select which deck I would like to win. It's tough, actually, because I 
have no interest in seven deadly sins. I have not seen or am I really interested in the Shield Girl show. No interest in Data Live or Love Live. Haven't seen quintessential quintuplets. Haven't seen Don Machi and don't really care to. So I'm not really interested in many of these. The two I'm thinking about, Kaguya-sama and Madoka. If this was regular Madoka, I think it would be a no-brainer. I would choose that one. I like Kaguya more than I like Magia Record, the Madoka spinoff. I do have a figure there of the main character of Magia Record. So I don't dislike the show. And I, I do feel like trading cards... Of Madoka characters seems cooler than trading cards of Kaguya characters. They don't really scream like battle ready. Even though I do think the show is better than Magia Record. So yeah, I'll, I'll go with the Magia Record. Uh, I just finished watching season two of that like two days ago. So that might be creating bias, but whatever. Which TCGs do I know? Or do I play or collect? Definitely card fight. Um, I guess no. I de I've heard of Digimon. I had the old Digimon cards as a kid. Dragon Ball Super. I have a good friend that loves to just buy Dragon Ball Z cards and not play anyone. He just has them. Duel Masters. I was one of the few that had the video game action figures and cards of Duel Masters. I've heard of that. Of course, I've heard of these, but I like Schwartz, so that's interesting. I don't know what OGC means, but yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. If you've never heard of any of these, I, I honestly am baffled. You don't need to know anything about trading cards. Your grandparents have heard of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. Do, do, do I pay for any of the following anime streaming services? I'm going to leave this one up in the video and just don't fact check the shows I've watched for the channel. I do pay for Prime. I pay for Verb, which is Crunchyroll. I don't know if I should check off Crunchyroll separately. I'll check Crunchyroll and High Dive, even though they both just count for Verb. I do pay for Netflix and I do pay for Hulu. I'm just going to I'll check this box just to show off all the money I spend. I also pay for HBO Max, and, um, sorry Funimation, I guess. Improve your app. Or do I usually buy anime-related merchandise? I have bought things from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I've bought things at anime conventions. Um, I think Good Smile. Good smile company and uh, a local shop. Sounds right. Eh, large chain stores. I've probably got like a Target thing back here somewhere. Amazon? Does Amazon count? Yeah, Amazon's up here. Check that off too. Try and be honest. How much do I usually spend on anime related merchandise in a month? Do I usually spend? Not on average. I'm sure I usually spend. It's usually not much. I usually just have like. Like I buy a lot in one sitting. I'll call it 11 to 30. How did I find out about this campaign? Mal top page banner. Wait. Or is it the Mal X Japan banner? How the hell am I supposed to know which banner it was? I guess Malex Japan banner. Oh, oh. Tell us about yourself. I'm in the 20s. I am male. I'm in North America. Full. I'm glad I don't have to be specific. I was worried I'd have to hide information from the stream. Uh, yeah, I'm a full-time employed North American male in my 20s. That sounds about right. 
and that's it. I don't. If I win, I guess I'll unbox it. I, <laughs> I'll, I'll attempt to play it at some point. Maybe I'll convince Rick Sorrow to dust off his old cards and play me on one of his streams or something. He probably won't. It's worth a shot. <laughs>